Remembering a life cut short, today the family of Jacoby Hill laid the six-year-old boy to rest. Jacoby died last week after undergoing anesthesia for a dental procedure at the VCU Dental Clinic. Tracy Sears attended the service, and Tracy, his mother's been very open with us about how painful this time has been. And Jacoby's mother tearfully spoke at the funeral today. She says she's trying not to question God, but she's having a very difficult time. Today, hundreds of people filled a Churchill Chapel to remember the sweet little boy who loves smiling and hiding his mother's car keys. As the rain fell, so did the tears. Family and friends held each other close as the small white casket carrying Jacoby Hill was taken to a waiting hearse. Very hard to give a eulogy for a six-year-old child. Moments earlier, Elder Ruth Whitehead gave a moving eulogy, remembering the little boy and his big smile. Jacoby went into cardiac arrest Tuesday at a VCU dental appointment while he was under general anesthesia. Right in his sleep. No troubles, no hurts, no sorrows. He didn't suffer. He went under for one thing and woke up in heaven. What beautiful way to go. Jacoby's mother, Crystal Lewis, says doctors never told her about any possible risk, knowing her son was asthmatic. Today, she tearfully spoke at her son's funeral, saying Jacoby was well-loved and brought so much joy to her family. She choked back, I love you and I'll see you in heaven. Others spoke of Jacoby's polite manners, a testament to his parents. That's real hard, real, real hard. But I have a son myself and I can't imagine what he's going through right now. Elder Whitehead says the family is grieving and is relying on friends now more than ever. Everybody's here today, but next week, a lot of people are not going to be there, and that's when they're going to need somebody. Now, VCU Medical Center released a statement earlier saying they wanted to understand Jacoby's death. VCU is now awaiting autopsy results as the school conducts its own internal investigation. Today, several VCU employees came to the funeral to pay their respects. Bill. Thank you, Jill.